My name is Tanja Kiewitz. I work at the sales department at the KNX Association here in Belgium. With this presentation today, we will help and guide you to make the best choice regarding our leading products. Today's topic is especially made for those users who hesitate about the software license they need for their project or for their installation. So let's begin. So ETS 5 Lite, ETS 5 Professional or ETS Inside. Which software is the right one for me? Well, we start our presentation with one of the most recurring questions. If the answer is not difficult, the right choice on the contrary will depend on different factors which have all their importance. That is why understanding some basic principles and having the right answer will bring you to the final correct choice to make and give you the solution you need. So let's now go ahead and walk together step by step towards our goal, your satisfaction. The aim of this webinar is to get answers to the numbers of questions each one of you may have once he's confronted to a KNX installation. You may ask yourself questions about private or professional use, price differences, the different license types and their limitations, the compatibility of your project and of the different ETS versions among each other, and certainly the definition of what is a KNIX product. We have collected the most recurring questions we were asked in order to clarify them and guide you towards the best option of the installation you have or you want to make. For instance, whether you have or not an existing project file you could use, or are you planning to install everything yourself? If you start from scratch, for example, do you already know how many and for, for instance, which products you want to install? Do you have actually any experience with ETS and KNX technology? Despite the abundance of questions, two different initial situations can clearly be identified. Either you're planning a new installation from scratch or you're confronted to an existing installation which you wish to manage. Both situations raise the same question before you choose an ETS version. How many pro products are you planning to install or are already installed? And do these products have plugins? In order to be able to answer, we will first need to define clearly what is a KNX product and what is a plugin? So let's start with the question what is a KNX product or better, what is considered as being a product? One product, for instance. Very often we get the following use cases. Our clients ask us what if I have three different KNX products from brand X, for example. Is this considered as one product or three products? What if I have three identical KNX, product, KNX products from brand X? Is this considered as one or as three products? And what if I have one product with eight outputs? Is this considered as being one or eight products? Let's see the answers. To help you understand, we have created this visual. Here you see how in the three given use cases, we would count the number of KNX products. For instance, in the first installation, we had three different products from brand X. In this case, we will give each product a unique physical address. As you can see here, the three different products have three different physical addresses. So you can consider this case as being three products. In the second installation, we had three identical products from brand X. But also in this case, each product is given a different physical address, even if the product are, is the same. So also this is considered as being three products. 
in the third installation, we had one product with eight outputs. Here, the product is given one unique physical address, even though it has eight outputs. So this is considered as being one product. So there's only one unique rule to remember. One address is one product. It is not important what the product does. It's only important that it's one product and one address. Now that you know how to count the number of products remains the question, what is a product with a plugin and why is this relevant? In the case that you are confronted to an existing installation and its project file, you may have plugin issues with the ETS inside. So what are these plugins? Some manufacturers integrate additional software to their products. This additional software is called plugin and it is used to add extra functions to the basic ones existing in the product. This is especially relevant when you want to work with the ETS inside as this software is not compatible with such plugins. Consequently, we can directly exclude to work with the ETS inside in this case. You might now ask yourself, but how am I supposed to know if I have such products with plugins in my installation? Well, there are two ways to get to know this. The easiest way is to send us your project file. We open and verify it. The most complicated way is a detour as you cannot directly import a project file into ETS Insight. That means that you will need to import it first to an ETS 5, even in demo version and send it from there to the ATS Insight. We will explain this more in detail in the next slide. If during this operation you get pop-up with plugin issues, you know that you have pl products with plugins. Consequently, you cannot use the ETS Insight as you will not be able to open or configure these plugins and products, sorry. Pl products with plugins, not easy to say. In the other case, where you start an installation from zero, you have, and you have not chosen any products yet for your installation, you can buy the ETS Insight without any problems, as then you can directly choose your products from its own online catalog, which are all plugin free. This way, you are sure that the products you will choose will be compatible. Now let's take a closer look at how we import an existing project file into ETS Insight by importing it first into ETS 5 Promo. Uh, Pro Demo, I'm sorry, this is really not easy to say. So at first we install the ETS 5 Demo from your shop. Then you import the project file via the import button. As you can see, it's very easy until now. Third, you go on your project name, you click the right mouse click and then you send it to ETS Insight. If you get no plugin warnings, as you can see here, the project is plugin free and you can use the ETS Insight. If you get plugin warnings, this plugin warning will not only show that there is a problem, but also show which device causes the problem. If the ETS Insight is not a possible choice due to products with plugins, you can still choose between the ETS Lite and the ETS 5 Pro version. Remember one of the main questions, how many products are you planning to install or are already installed? Well, here this question has its importance as the ETS 5 Lite is limited to 20 products per project and the ETS 5 Professional is unlimited. So if you have, for example, a 
project with 150 products, you definitely have to go for the ETS-5 professional license. So you might think now, okay, I have a project, but I don't know how many products are in this project file. Maybe I could use the demo version to use and to open it to see how many products are installed. This is not a good idea. As you see, you can only open a maximum of five products. You can also think, okay, let's open my project in the ETS inside uh, in the ETS Lite version. Well, here also you are limited to 20 products, so do not try to open a project file in the ETS inside if you don't know how much products are configured. So actually, yes, you could think now let's open it in ETS 5 Professional, but this is not a good idea either because it costs a lot of money. So please, in this case, if you have a project file and you would like to know the number of products installed or if there are products installed that uh, have plugins, just use our free service, contact our sales team, send your project file to info at knx.org and we will check the file for you. After that, we will advise you which license to choose. So let's summarize what we have learned until now and hopefully after that you will be able to make the right ETS software license choice. So we have the ETS 5 Lite. This license you must know is specially used for training. All our certified schools use this license for their students. It costs 200 euros. It can be used for any products, also with plugins, and you're able to upgrade this ETS 5 Lite to ETS 5 Professional with 800 euros. Then we have the ETS 5 Professional license. This license, as its name says, is mainly used by professionals. This is also why we can explain the higher price. So if you are a private user, this one is not the right one for you. This license is unlimited. You can configure numbers of devices without any limitation. You can use it for any installation. So this is really our Rolls Royce. Then you have the ETS Inside license. This license is actually made for private users. Here you can configure one project with a maximum of 255 products. But as we said before, be aware that this license is not compatible with products that have plugins. So it is especially interesting for installations where you start from zero, where you can still choose the devices you want to use in its own online product catalog. This version exists for Windows 10 and Linux, and you can also swap license between Windows 10 and Linux if you did the wrong choice. The regular price is 160 euros, and it can be upgraded to 840 euros. Sorry, for 800. 40 euros to ETS 5 professional. Last but not least, our sales team is available every day during the week from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. We're pleased to answer your questions and make your KNX experience the most enjoyable. For more questions, you can also send us a support ticket or mail to info at knix.org. Please, if you want to call us, you can here see our central phone number. And what I also would like to mention is our support page. Please find it on support.knix.org. This is actually very interesting as it is 
sort of an answer bot which has hundreds of articles that will show if you write in the search field, for example, an, a question you have, you will get the selection of articles you need to read uh, in order to have answers. This is very interesting. Please, if you don't want to wait, try this answer bird. It's really helpful. So we have now come to the end of this presentation. I hope you can now make the right ETS software license choice for your installation. So thank you for your interest in our products and our technology. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a good day and stay healthy.